Okay. Let me get a few seconds. See what happens. We can just start talking. How was your day? We just talked about all this. All <laughs> My day was good. How was your day? I went to work, played soccer. Oh, it was the same, same yeah, shit. Yeah, went Outside to work, of played soccer. How do people live without like a hobby or like a pursuit? You know what I mean? Like outside of yeah. work, every day is just the fucking same. <laughs> You know, like, thank God I have something outside yeah. of work. Otherwise, like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> life is so bleak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally, dude. <laughs> I say this to our listeners as they drive to another day of work. Yeah. No, like, I think life's good. Like, I think people who, life is about just listening to podcasts, you know what I mean? Podcasts and consuming content and buying <laughs> stuff. It's all about just, like... Just like buying your next cool shirt or like uh, a new pair of pants mm-hmm. or like a new couch and then like getting in your car and putting on your favorite podcast. Oh, well, that then literally our listeners is what are about. killing it then. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the wealthiest listeners in the world. <laughs> yeah. Always buying stuff. Always listening to our free content. All right. I think we're good. If you want to get into it. We talked for like a minute. Okay. Oh, nice. What's well, up? Uh, wait, actually, let me send a text to Lauren real quick saying that we've started recording, but... Oh, is this not part of the pod? Talking about the bleakness of life and work and the repetitiveness, the circle of life. That's the thing. The circle of life is, uh, it's it's a boring cycle. <laughs> you know? Okay, we're back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> the What's circle up? of life, you know. <laughs> you know what I think what life's about? It's Death about and podcasting rebirth. With oh, Jesus. <laughs> is like, that's so... That's so romantic, but that's not the real circle of life. The real circle of life is waking up, doing the same thing every day, going to sleep, and then doing that again and again yeah. and again and again. That's the real circle of life. But then sometimes you freaking have enough money to buy yourself a cool thing. And Isn't that sad? And then you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you hang out with a, fr- a few friends. But then that nice just dinner. becomes part of the circle. Like, Whoa. Y- you know, they say life is a vicious circle. It's not. It's a boring, bland, <laughs> gray one. And then you go through all this until you, you're about to break. Then you get therapy. And what is the therapy <laughs> for? It's just to encourage you to continue this horrible cycle. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Blunderbuss <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> uh, that was, you just heard from Vic Van Tran. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Philly this weekend, got a little poetic. <laughs> yeah. It's a romantic city. I'm Arkai. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is about blunders, uh, our issues with things, our flops, our mistakes, our uh, sometimes triumphs. Yeah. Sometimes the, vis- the the viscosity of life, the viciousness of life. The viscosity of life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really thick. <laughs> of- <laughs> Dude, my life pretty pretty viscous. Viscous, yeah, viscous. So, uh, my dad's come very viscous. Well, <laughs> That's why you're so tall. <laughs> yeah, okay, because <laughs> like your dad had thick come. Very malleable come, but Mine runny, <laughs> runny. Yeah. <laughs> we always talk about come on this pod. It's, it's a podcast with boys. Of course, it's gonna happen. Come is the first part of the circle of life. Wow. I think the egg is. That is literally a circle. Yeah, what came first, the cum or the egg? <laughs> Age old riddle. Anyway, we <laughs> went to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly cum. <laughs> <laughs> brotherly cum, and I've never felt closer, brother. <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. It yeah. was a good time. We spent a weekend together. Uh, our first weekend, to- our first trip together. Wow, it was, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Our first trip together. Wow, you, you didn't even clock that? That was the only thing I was thinking about. And we like, took it. this is cool. Well, I feel, like, I feel like we're good travel buddies. Yeah. That's a good way to test chemistry with somebody. <laughs> travel buddies? Travel with them. Be trapped with them for days yeah. on end. I did love how we got to uh, our friend's aunt's place where we're staying, and then immediately you're like, I'm taking to bed, and we're like, I was like, <laughs> okay. Okay. Which well, honestly- that, Well, that can- <laughs> Or go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, honestly, I was like, no, that's fine. I don't, I don't actually care. Yeah, it's just very funny. I never met someone who was so like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking take a bed. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that was the, that was the interesting part. Because <laughs> usually people were like, oh no, you take like I was like, that's what I was ready for. Yeah, but I kind of appreciated you being <laughs> no, like, I'll I, take the bed. But I then, cut through the, I cut through all that bullshit. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> I personally don't care. I, again, I really don't care. I yeah. would have stopped anywhere. But it was just funny that like my family and people I usually travel with and like my friends are very like, oh, yeah. who's gonna take the bet? Like it's it's a discussion, right? Yeah. But you're just like, nah, I'm taking one. <laughs> I'm taking one. <laughs> I'm very particular about <laughs> my sleep. Yeah. yeah. Which I think that's what I figured. I was like, I think he literally like likes to sleep well but well, who yeah. doesn't but i like i personally feel like i can sleep anywhere kind of thing right so not a huge deal but but then <laughs> but then we were <laughs> the trying out beds that, yeah <laughs> we were trying out the beds and they were they were a little springy yeah one so there's two beds yes two and beds. i say that in quotes one <laughs> yeah, bed yeah, yeah, is yeah. the springboard <laughs> yes with a with a bed sheet on top right and then the other bed is the other half of that bed set right yeah. <laughs> it's they just like it the the top like mattress part without the springs right yeah. and if you're our friend whose aunt's uh place that we stayed at and you're listening no it no issue we're just we just were surprised we were yeah. just surprised by it. it wasn't like again i slept on the bed just fine yeah uh, it's not a critique <laughs> it's an observation but it was a critique in a way because you we tried the beds one of the rooms was too scary for you that's what you <laughs> said <laughs> it was it was too spacious too yeah. many doors <laughs> there's one door <laughs> but there was a weird like nook thing yeah that you were like freaked out about yeah <laughs> so it, it so was <laughs> it was a creepy place okay now i didn't say it <laughs> our friend andrea did not say that did and a little too chinese <laughs> yeah it was a little like how do I describe it? It did feel like uh, a place my family would stay at. <laughs> the immigrant family. Yeah. We don't need much. That kind of place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like maybe the standards of cleanliness aren't up to our standards. You don't think it was creepy? Like if, if me and Terry weren't there, you wouldn't be a little afraid? <sighs> it was kind of scary. I think I think it's a little... It would have been a little scary. Maybe the first night. But also, like, it was so quiet there. Like, I was just like, I think this is fine. Like, dude, I don't, like, feel... It was kind of, like, in a side street, too. Like, it didn't feel like a busy street. And I felt yeah. like I felt like it was kind of tucked away. And I was like, oh, I'll be all right. Oh, you you mean, like, creepy like crime. Like, scary like crime. Yeah, I think... That, what were you what were you scared, scared oh, of? Oh, like, <laughs> demons and ghouls? <laughs> no, 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 I did not feel that at all. Oh. If you guys weren't there, I probably would have taken a shower, honestly. You would have? I think so. Oh, I wouldn't oh even... that was another thing. <laughs> Sorry None of us showered for like a weekend. Because <laughs> yeah. the bath the bathtub was like rusted. Yeah, it was rusted and there's yeah. a lot of mold. And like honestly, I didn't even think about it until you guys brought it up. I'm like, yeah, you guys are right. You guys this is this is kind of <laughs> risky. Risky. Yeah, also like we the peer pressured him into not showering. <laughs> you fucking freak. That's what they kept calling me. You're gonna shower, <laughs> you freak. And I was yeah. naked, about to hop in, and they there was no AC, no <laughs> heater. It was actually very cold, you're it right. It was very cold. We all slept cold. fully clothed. <laughs> yeah. Like in our like jackets, like the clothes right. I wear on stage, I wore to bed. Uh again, very grateful but very Andrew. That. Honestly, like by this by the after the first night, I was like I was actually pretty cozy. Yeah. I was vibing I, with I settled the place. in. Yeah. I settled in for sure. I was vibing with the place. But no, I wanted to go back to the bed thing cuz you the first room you're like this is too scary, I can't sleep here. And then we tried the beds and they weren't comfortable <laughs> and you're like I'm going to take the couch. <laughs> The couch was by far. <laughs> Again, no discussion. Years. Terry and I were just kind of like <laughs> chilling. And then you go, yeah, I'm going to take the couch. <laughs> it, it was a little premediate. It was a little premeditated, though. Yeah. What do because, you mean? Because, because the trip it, originally was supposed to be me and you. Right, right, right. And then you added Terry. I did, I did. For that's, like that's extra company bad. for literally no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just an observation, not a critique. Yeah, I was sure. very happy that he was there. <laughs> it was a great hang. Well, no, here's the thing about here's here's my logic. Do we ever talk about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like you're critiquing me now. <laughs> well, here's the logic. I was like, okay, one. Uh, I personally think traveling in groups of three is the best. That's that was my first thing. I was like, oh, three people is the best because you can pop, you can bop around. Not okay. like not like I was worried about hanging out with you one on one, but I'm just like it'd be more fun, it'd be elevated if it was three people. And you were right about that. Okay, so but that was it was one. four, <laughs> <laughs> sort of. I mean, Andrew came in and out. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh huh. So that was one. Also, two. I was like, oh, like he's he lived in Philly, but yeah. he never, he didn't do any comedy in Philly. So I was like, oh, it'd be cool, like invite him and maybe he'll get on like a show or two. Yeah. To like do comedy in Philly and bring him back to his like he spent so much time time there right so i thought that would have been cool i was looking out for him all right and that's why yeah. i invited him i know yeah uh, and the most important one we were looking at airbnbs i was like it three, was three-way airbnbs probably the cheapest way to go yeah, yeah yeah no those are all great points <laughs> and you're right 
I think <laughs> what I was concerned about was like it would be hard to get him on shows. Right. And then also I didn't know what space we would have. Right. And, and th- so that's why fair. that's why when we got there I was like I'm taking a bed because it's like he was Derek, you're not on. even supposed to be here. Right, 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 right. So if like if if he got like a bed and I was sitting on some if I was sleeping on some fucking dingy couch <laughs> he would have been pissed i would have been pissed <laughs> yeah see this is where you and i differ i would have been i can sleep anywhere so i'd be like hey take the bed. i don't give a fuck i'll sleep on the floor i don't care yeah 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 but no i anyway. i walked in i did the whole goldilocks thing <laughs> <laughs> tested each bed <laughs> drank all the porridge yeah yeah and uh yeah it all worked out though it was Everything a great trip out. and i was glad terry was there yeah uh because again three's good three's the best look as a guy who travels a lot Three is the best number. I I agree with that. I yeah. like groups of three. Right. Yeah, yeah. Groups of four, um, then the group starts to splinter. A little too big, yeah. Yeah, then it becomes two and two. But four, yeah. but four can work too, because it's still small enough where you can like bop around. I think that's the, the most important, because mm. you can just like go from person to person and kind of like interact with everybody, and it's sort of like a mini party. You know what I mean? Yeah, what about that's five? Five is too much. Blender. That's a huge yeah. Five then is way it's too imbalanced. many. It's imbalanced. Imbalance and it's just like all right now with the hey what does everybody want to do and it's like now it's five people and it's like I guess we sort of all want to go to the library you know what I mean or the museum or whatever yeah and it's like no one can really talk and discuss unless you guys are very close I thought about yeah. this a lot the dynamic of traveling groups yeah no three lot. three is a good call the best three number is a good call yeah anyway okay so that was uh that was the first instance <laughs> we get <laughs> there we check out the place a little scary a little moldy. Uh, very cold, but again, Andrew, if you're listening, very grateful. Very grateful. Very sweet. Aunt, your aunt's very sweet. Dim sum. Well, let's talk. No, no, no. Let's back up. This is Friday. Uh, Let's talk about the show. (laughs) Talk about my show (laughs) on Friday. (laughs) Okay, here we go. (laughs) So this is, I guess, you want to tell the context of the of the show. So we had planned this trip to Philly a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and then I found out that the weekend that we're there. Good friend of ours, uh, Make up a friend name. of the pod. Um, uh, I don't want to make up a name because it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be racially insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Jasmine? Huh? Jasmine. That's the name. Jorge. No, stop. Barbosa. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> was in town. Okay, here we go. So we, right, both me and Art, you know, we're we're not like close friends with them, but you know, uh, we're we're acquaintances. You know, we're friendly. Yeah. And so I hit him up. I was like, Hey, you know, uh, we'll be in town. Is there any chance I can get a spot? Here's the thing about Jorge. He's a fucking. He's a chill ass dude. He's, yeah. Always chill. has been. Perhaps I knew always that. will be. I knew that, but his he was even more chill than I anticipated. Super cool guy, which is rare. <laughs> in and this crazy industry that we're in. Yeah. In this business. So he's like, yeah. I was like, can I do a spot? He said, yeah, come through. And, uh, okay. So I so I tell Art. I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah. I hit up Jorge. Yeah. He's going to let me do a spot. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then... You want me to take it from here, the story? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. So basically, I hit him up originally to be like, hey, I'll be in Philly. Let's hang out. And uh, he didn't respond to that. Apparently, he's bad at te- uh, texting because the dude's Is very- he? I didn't really notice that at all. No, he's good at DMing, <laughs> but he's bad at texting. Oh, uh, okay. Like, uh-huh. I message texting. Yeah. We're probably blowing up a spot right now, but whatever. <laughs> Because <laughs> then people are gonna know that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, he's he gets hit up a lot, but I think he's always on Instagram. Whatever. If you want to contact him, whatever. Um, <laughs> so basically, I texted him and he didn't respond, and that's fine. I feel like he 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 hires me to do his posters, and so I know he's bad at texting. Like he even when oh, I ask yeah. him questions, he like doesn't respond to like. This feels weird. It feels like we're reviewing a person. We're doing like a product right, review of right. a person. No, this is again. But no, he's just busy. Is, yeah, he's just a busy yeah. guy. Like yeah. I get it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then, so he, you told me that you're doing. He, he told you you could come through and do a spot, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll just like DM him. Not a big deal. So I DM yeah. him on Instagram, like, hey man, like uh, if you have an extra spot or two, I'd love to do it in Philly. Blah blah blah. And he was like, yeah, come through, whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And super I chill, you. super generous. Right. Yeah. So I texted you, and then you're like, yeah, 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 sick. Everyone, everyone wins. Everyone's happy for once in their lives. And then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we go to the we go to the club. So we. Go to the club <laughs> we go to the club 
Man, so pretty, much, pretty so much happened at the club too. Yeah, a pretty stressful situation. It was very stressful <laughs> because we get to the club, yeah. it's packed. It's packed. Jorge's a star. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's packed. We're in line, and then he gives us no instructions. It, it's already who, who doesn't give instructions. Jorge gives us like, hey, talk to this person, talk to the man. Like, it's just like come to the club. And we're like, there's so many people here. Like, we, I feel weird just well, walking yeah, in. Well, you, that's the thing. Is like there's. I, I I knew how to navigate it. Okay. Yeah, because it's a club. It's it's easy. You go in, you tell the guy, like, hey, I'm on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then they, they contact the right. headline and they say, hey, this guy's here. It's Gucci, right? But we also had a blunder. But, yeah, when that <laughs> becomes a problem is when we roll up to the club yeah, yeah, and there's yeah. two, two extra, extra people, people with <laughs> us. <laughs> that we have to essentially babysit. Right, right, right. So that was very stressful. That was very stressful. Kind so, of a blunder on my yeah. end. So we uh, walk in. <laughs> so we walk in the club. I'm like, hey, I'm on the show. Right. And then Art's like, hey, I'm on the show. And like, cool, cool. I didn't cool. even say that. I just followed you. Yeah. Someone yelled at me. I go, oh, I'm with. And then I just followed you. Good. Yeah, that's how <laughs> it was supposed to be. <laughs> There's the other, so many people. Out it's the club. very it's packed. Shoulder to shoulder. Packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, and then our other two friends are tagging along, and they're just like there. <laughs> they're just there. Yeah, I feel bad, but also feel like ah, oh, you know, I do like them. You know, it's not like a, it's not like so yeah. bad, right? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but it was just it's it was a lot to <laughs> navigate on my own, <laughs> and then right. also like uh, accommodate, you know, everybody else. Right. You're and, a host. You're doing. You're yeah. Doing a great job hosting. And, and also, it's like it's like there's a green room <laughs> etiquette. Yeah. To like clubs, you know? Right. Or really just like anything. It's like us as guests, we're already sort of imposing. For sure. Right. And then our guests <laughs> on top of that, luckily Rob is like, sorry, Jorge is like super. <laughs> <laughs> luckily he's cool as fuck and it like not a problem at all. But like it is sort of a faux pas to like, if you're a guest, not even on the show originally, like yeah. bringing people, you know, in the back or like even bringing people to watch a show like who hadn't bought tickets it you know sometimes you know people aren't like kind to that but uh it all worked out it was just packed right. and we had extra people right and uh so so we we figure out our way to back i was actually surprised at how little club experience you had yeah i mean yeah. i've never like i never like i've been to like clubs in new york city but I never like yeah. navigate. I never like walked in a club and be like, "Hey, I'm opening for somebody." Like, yeah. That's, well, when was that ever happened to me? Like, why would that happen to me? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I guess maybe I took that for granted. Right. Sorry. But... Sorry, I'm not as successful as you think I am. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm just a middling. <laughs> yeah. Look, maybe, I'm just a guy who likes to play soccer. Maybe right? putting a little more effort there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, showbiz is all smoke and mirrors. If you see, if it seems like you're doing a lot, then that's it's your, all smoke it and mirrors. And <laughs> R was choking in the smoke. I was like, oh, and I was got lost in the mirrors. Lost in the smoke. Right. So basically, we got in fine. Everything was chill for a while. Yeah. And I was Andrea, like, oh, cool. Goes cool. home because she she became overwhelmed. She no, she went to go like see her grandma. She was, she was like, this is this seems like it's gonna be a lot. Yeah, and it, yeah. no, she said that she said that to you. She said that to us. She didn't say that to me. maybe to you. Well, in, in it, she didn't say that in those words. Ah, I wasn't listening. <laughs> 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 Too lost in the smoke. Yeah, Andrew's that person where I see it, I get I get a little scared. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit! I know yeah. you're here. <laughs> so, anyways, we get long story short. Me yeah. and Art, we go to the green room. Right. So yeah. say what's up to Jorge. Jorge is cool as fuck. Everyone's chill. We're chatting. Every- yeah. I meet all the openers. Uh, yeah. Jorge two. Jorge three. Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> They're chill as hell too. Everyone's chill. Super cool. And then then uh, here's here's another blunder that happens. Uh, in my mind, I'm like, all right. Well, I guess I'll. Uh, okay, let me back up. In my <laughs> mind, I see the manager, house manager, talking to you a lot, and he was like. Uh, oh, you're like the guest. You're the guest. Uh, guest spot. Guest spot. Blah blah blah. And I was like, Yeah. Does he know there's two guest spots? I'm like, Ah, we'll figure it out, right? right? And then we go in the back, and I sit down, and we're just chatting. Oh, guest spot. By the way, is whenever you're not a comic on the bill. Oh, right. And the, hop the headliner is allowing you to do some time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, for all those non-comedy nerds. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so then. The the manager asks you like, hey, uh, usually you get five to seven minutes, and then like, do you have an opening song you want, and like, when do you want the light? Yeah. And then and then you told you tell him everything. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why you chose Fireflies by Owl City. Pretty good that, song though. That's not. <laughs> that song sucks. <laughs> no, it's my all best friends love that song. That song sucks dick. <laughs> I don't know why you chose it, but anyway, <laughs> uh, you they they leave, and I was like, fuck. 
I'm not on the show. I just kn- I just knew for a fact I wasn't on the show. How did you feel? Seeking st- seeking feeling in your stomach. I had a f- I had a an I I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Yeah. Mainly because Ralph uh, Ralph uh, Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm noting the time so I can bleep it out. <laughs> Jorge. <laughs> we can, we can no, no, you're right. You're saying you're gonna incrimin- incriminate him anyway. Well, I, I feel like we've been very nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, here it comes Jorge, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Anyway, Jorge's like too yeah. chill to like. I think he just kind of forgot to yeah. tell him that, or maybe he not. Maybe he saw. No, he definitely a hundred percent forgot that wow. that he offered Two a spots. guest spot to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, he didn't even really offer. He said, "Just come through." Did he say that to you? Just come through. He did say he did say come through, but we we messaged him differently. I said I specifically said, "Can I do a spot?" Yeah, but I also said that later, and he said, "Come through." I literally He's, said, "Hey, if you have any extra spots, we'd love to do one." And he said, yeah, oh, come through. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. He said, chill, come through. Right, right, I don't know right, if that right. Anyway, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then that happens, and uh, in the moment, I was like, damn. But also, it was a little, re- honestly, a little bit of relief. I was a little relieved. Because I kind of, if I was going to do it. Oh, yeah. You were stressed? Never done a club that big outside yeah. of the city. I've done theaters bigger, but <laughs> we both have. Anyway. <laughs> 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 but I've never like done like a club club and also like his audience is very Latino and yeah. I've never done a Latino audience before you oh. know what I mean so I was mm-hmm. just like man I'm nervous I don't know how these jokes are gonna go um so in my mind I was like it was like uh, kind of a relief but also like a little bit of a bummer where I was just like man I did want to try I wanted to see what would happen I yeah I, I wanted you I wanted, I wanted you to, try to do out. a spot there too because I think yeah. It would have been, uh, been interesting. It would have been interesting. Yeah. Um, and you would have gained a lot from it, too. I think so. Yeah. Even doing, like, five, I was, like, ready to do yeah. it. But anyway, like, I was so, like... <laughs> so, originally, I, I I have a spot, and I'm allocated, like, five to seven minutes, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This and, then, <laughs> and then I'm thinking, like, okay, well, maybe five to seven minutes is all the time that they have, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe they have, like, a cutoff. That's why I, I didn't get on. Yeah. And yeah. then, so, I was like, oh, five to seven, you know, that's why I was not on. And then, or, and then Ralph goes, Jorge. <laughs> yeah, Jorge goes, uh, hey, Vic, actually, you want to do 15? <laughs> yeah, so he, he literally was like. So he doubles my time in front of our, which, I, which at that it's point, crazy. here's my blunder. I should have, I should have said something. I didn't think no. of, I didn't think of it fast enough, you right. know, but I should have been like, oh, is it cool if, you know, me and Art do seven? Right, right, you right. Know? But uh, I'm a I'm a greedy boy. <laughs> so you're a bad guy. Yeah. No, it was it was funny because like R- Jorge, what are you doing, cat? He's chewing up the c- cables. Jorge was like he sat down next to between us. No, not between us. In but he sat in between us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. like turned to you and was like, "Hey, uh, Jorge, number two, the other opener dropped out. So you're gonna do ten to 15. And I was just yeah. looking at him like. <laughs> I was just like, so one of the guys fuck. actually dropped out and they needed a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And instead of, <laughs> instead of getting you, yeah, they I was just like, doubled my time. Yeah, shit. <laughs> it was literally just like the oh. Curb Your Enthusiasm theme just went on my head. I was like, dun, 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 dun. You know what, man? I'll take I, I'll take the blame on that. No, no, I don't think so. No, wrong. because I definitely could have said something. And like, you were in a position to where if you said something, it would have. It I didn't want to be like I like it would have oh, been uncomfortable. Ralph, yeah, Ralph. Jorge, yeah. Jorge, please. But I was definitely in a position where I could have said something. Right, and I did not. I just did not. I, you know, everything happened so fast. I didn't right. have like the the wherewithal. I yeah, and also I think I think in my mind, even if you did say something, this is maybe another factor of like. Then we have to tell the house manager. And we have to no, tell the dude, it's host. so it's, it's just so like simple. So much. It's so simple. That's that's the reason why I didn't want to do it because I was like, oh, I don't want to be like Jorge, but also like, oh, Jorge, can you get the should I get the house manager? Should I tell should I tell Jorge? Dude, the house the, manager. The host. They, when the show's going like all, all the only people that need to know is like the host. Yeah, <laughs> like it's pretty much it. I guess I guess also it is the house manager's job to like adjust like this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. oh, like I have to accommodate the comedian. Yeah, performing. Yeah. Um, but uh, I talked to our friend uh, Fernando about that because he's also good friends with Jorge. Yeah, and <laughs> he was like, "You should have just talked to him." And I was yeah. like, "No, nah, I felt I would have felt really weird. Like I don't know him that well. It, you know what I mean? Like you're, it's just like it would have been weird." And you probably like, could have, yeah. but yes, it, you would have felt weird. I think it would not have been weird, but you have would have felt right. weird. Yeah. I think if I had known Jorge better, uh-huh. I I would have done it. But obviously, it's like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you were put in a weird spot. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 
Anyway, it was it turned out fine. I was it was cool to like watch the show and also uh, hung out with Terry. Hung out like sat we sat next to each other and had some food. And it was actually it was a good time. I had a good time. Yeah, it wasn't a bad thing. I had a great set. I had a great set <laughs> up until a point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so, what happened, dude? <laughs> so, all right, all right. So the show, show sold out. Punch on Philly. What a great club. Yeah, yeah. And thank shout you, out, thank you, out. Jorge Barboza, for letting me do a spot. <laughs> really appreciate it. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just keeping his name. And in. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, I so I got there. I, I start real hot, and yeah. uh, I'm doing really well up until maybe like 13 minutes in. I have this joke where I talk about my dad's Vietnamese accent, but instead of doing a Vietnamese accent, I do like a pretty yeah. stereotypical mexican like Hispanic, accent yeah and then so i go into the <laughs> act out like hey fucker da, 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 da. <laughs> okay and, and do, do it more. think huh do more of it i go out there fool. <laughs> see something in spanish now huh <laughs> nothing <laughs> 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 and i thought that it, it was silly enough to where uh they would think it was funny and Ralph, I mean, Jorge obviously has like a <laughs> it's too late. We're gonna predominantly to Latino <laughs> audience. <laughs> and I, you know, the Mexicans where I grew up, I don't know about the Philly ones, but the Mexicans where I grew up, they're cool. <laughs> but Philly Mexicans, get your fucking shit together. What the hell? Yeah, I, I, these Philly Mexicans don't know the real Mexicans in <laughs> yeah. Texas. But like, a little uh, too north to be. Anyway, so I do this, I do this dumb joke. You know, if we're good, da, 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 da. And yeah. uh, that just nothing. <laughs> yeah, it, it falls real flat. The the table next to us, they literally one of the, a woman goes, "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god." <laughs> <laughs> you like kill their uh, grandmother or I something. Know. Like she, she the abuela, him. yeah. She's like, uh, "Oh my god." Yeah, I think that's. I think you're right. I think there is a proximity thing. Like you're so they're so they're they're probably very kind of disconnected. From Mexico, if they are Mexicans, <laughs> yeah, maybe. you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, they didn't like it. They're like, <laughs> you know? oh, yeah. One lady was like, oh no. Yeah, and uh, but well, the, the rest of my set went great. You did also bring out a giant sombrero and put it on your head and started. Yeah, <laughs> it started yeah I came out like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the rest yeah. of my set was good. Yeah, it was a solid set. Yeah, it was. I did it great. Yeah, yeah. I it's funny because uh, you're worried about the f- comic before you burying you. But I would say you did better than that comic. Uh, I mean, we don't got to say all that. <laughs> uh, also, I wasn't worried. <laughs> I wasn't worried that I was going to bury me. I had, right. I got the vibe that I was like, oh, he's going to try. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Right. But you did. You don't want to say you did better than it? I mean, like, I think it's objective. I, I feel like, right? I mean. Is I, that like rude to say? I don't. I don't know. I didn't see. I I didn't see my set. So. <laughs> wow, well, be a little diplomatic here. Yeah. Look, I'm just saying. Sometimes uh, comics do better than other comics on the lineup. That just happens. Get set. over it. <laughs> get Jorge set. number three. Get over it, dude. I, I will say this. About this. When Come I on. when I woke up the next morning, Terry was uh, looming over me. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, he wait. He did that to me too. <laughs> At like four a.m. <laughs> he told me he was like. You remember the guy sitting next to us? Like at the table, was like a drunk fucking. Oh, idiot he was the so whole time. annoying. He was, was so like, annoying. yeah, talking shit the whole time. Yeah, I hated. I him. was. He was like, he was talking all through Jorge's set. Yeah, and like it was being really annoying. And the whole time, I cannot help but think, I was like, what? I I can't imagine like what fucked up shit this idiot said during my set. He was probably being a real he, asshole. Honestly, and he, then and then right, yeah, so Terry on. told Terry. Wakes me up. He goes, "Hey, I don't want to gas you up, but <laughs> when you're on stage, the guy next to us, a real obnoxious guy, he goes, finally somebody funny.' <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. He did like. Hell it. yeah, brother! He let's liked go, you. Let's it was funny because he kept making like snide comments to uh, the other comics that went up before you. Like, yeah. oh, well, I guess like he like would say like shit like like condescending shit like that. Yeah. And then for yours, he was he was he was listening. Yeah, I got he that vibe listening. from him. Yeah, listening. he was he was, he was listening and he laughed a little bit. Idiot. And he was like, <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I knew he, Philly. Here's what I'll say. But this is my review of Philadelphia. Yeah, your city sucks. <laughs> <laughs> your city's a dump. Burr was right. Yeah, Billy it, was it, right. It is. It's not the greatest, but the people. Bunch of R words. <laughs> I like the people. Yeah, to your point. A bunch of R words. <laughs> he Philly. Liked the people. It, compared to other northeastern cities, DC a little overeducated, a little pompous. Sure. Philly, not not overeducated. 
probably undereducated. <laughs> pretty pretty dumb, but <laughs> my people. Yeah. We vibe. <laughs> yeah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was you. funny. It was funny uh, that he did that. Um, so that was that night. Yeah, any other blunders happened that night? I'm trying to think. Oh my oh. god, we had a, f- a bunch of blunders. We yeah. post show, post show blunders. Post show. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a great story. We no, it's kind of just gave us like yeah. some somebody recommended a smash burger Place, truck. Yeah, and we went to the wrong truck, and then it took and like the, an hour. The guy to was thing. bad at working the truck. Yeah, the truck guy. The he's truck bad. guy like forgot our orders. Yeah, and then he goes like thirty minutes later. He's like, "Wait, what did you guys get?" No, this is what he said. Yeah, I can't take your order because I've run out of paper. <laughs> yeah, paper. Yeah, you yeah. have a phone, dude. No. Yeah, so he he takes Type our it out. he takes our orders, and then he doesn't make it. And then he's like, "Wait, what did you guys get again?" So we all re say our orders. We're like, yeah. "Cheeseburger, Philly cheesesteak, Philly yeah, cheesesteak, yeah, yeah, yeah. and a coke." Right. And then he goes. Oh, okay. I didn't write any of that down. I ran out of paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said before. <laughs> and then we got our food. That's so easily the worst burger so I've bad. ever had. Yeah. Easily the worst Truly burger I've bad. ever had. I will say though, it, it was, was like gray. two. A- it was two a.m. at that point. I was like, this is kind of hitting. I was very tired, but I was like, two a.m. for food kind of hits a little bit. It was that bad <laughs> for you. It was bad. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah. And then our Uber. Fucked if I got up, that burger after, like, if I ate that burger, like, in the Gaza Strip, I'd be like, "This fucking sucks." <laughs> so bad this is the worst thing's ever was. happened to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, it looked bad. It was like, horrible. It looked, it looked like one of those burgers that uh, clearly been frozen for years. <laughs> <laughs> for years, yeah. The burger had frostbite. Like it had like it looked square. Like it was like it was like the sides weren't burger like. It was like it was like a solid piece of fake meat. You know yeah. what I mean? It was like a weird rubbery patty. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. It looked disgusting. Um, but yeah, so that was the first night. That was fun. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Uh, <laughs> The next Second day, day, we uh we got went to dim sum. I played soccer. Oh, this is a funny thing that happened at soccer. Uh, uh, I think I told you about it, but some dude clearly has never played in his life. <laughs> yeah, he uh, I don't know how funny the story is, but he clearly hasn't played really at all. And it's just like, all right, that's fine. Like, we'll, well, we'll like. I think everyone's like, let's go easy on him, right? We'll like p- give him the ball and let him just like have the ball for a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, how do I describe him? I think his looks are important. Okay. Uh, he looked like a dweeb. I don't know how to. I don't know how else to put it. No, no real chin. Just kind of like. <laughs> just kinda He's just like, a thumb out there. He kind of like just like looks like a thumb, not yeah. really coordinated. I'm like, dude, why? He should felt, be on the foosball field. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should shrink him and make him plastic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, what's up? Welcome back. Um, sorry, uh, my girlfriend just got back. But anyway, uh, he shouldn't be playing soccer. He should at least like at least join like a very low level league or something. Like he shouldn't be playing with us, right? Hey, what's up, Lauren? Your boyfriend just talking about soccer again. <laughs> 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 Always talking about it. But anyway, so someone he was playing goalie. Someone kicked the ball and it hit his finger. Like it kind of. It didn't really hit his finger that hard. <laughs> but then he collapsed to his <laughs> knees and he went ah <laughs> ah. I can't feel my hand. <laughs> he started crying, and we were just like, "Dude, you really it's cry? okay." Cry? He was like, he was like wiping his tears. Like he's like trying try not to like show people. He's like, "It really hurts. Wow. I can't feel my hand. Look at I, that. I should go to I should go to the hospital." Philly tough. Philly tough. And then I would, <laughs> me and Terry looked at each other. And we we're like, "Dude, he's fucking. He's fine. Like, he's, <laughs> I go see to the his hospital. hand. It's so funny. It's not even <laughs> swollen. Like it's yeah. fine. He's fine. But it, he's just one of those kids who's like never really played." like any contact sport or anything really in his life and can, yeah. probably couldn't handle pain at all. Well, and soccer's really not even a contact up. sport. It's like famous for it flopping. Can, it can be. It can be, though. If you're a goalie, you're contacting. Not really, though. But Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I see. Contact with the ball. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Uh, he was like, I should, can someone take me to the hospital? It's like, dude, you're <laughs> fine. <laughs> he had to be carried <laughs> off the field. Like, someone had to, like... like Are you take, serious? Not, like, carried off the field, but, like, someone had to, like, put, like, an arm over him and, like, walk him out Rub of the field. Rub his back. Yes, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Wipe his tears. And it was very funny to see. That's so funny. That's but so hey, it funny. actually worked out because the teams were uneven. What did I do? Even. Oh, what did I do while y'all were at soccer? Oh, me and Andrea went to the WrestleMania convention nice. because WrestleMania was happening in uh, Philly. First time in like 30 years or some shit? Like yeah, 40 years? yeah. That was their lunar eclipse. <laughs> it was WrestleMania. What did we call it? 
Uh, uh, trailer Park Ramadan. <laughs> 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 Putting the rock Hell in Mubarak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mubarak. <laughs> is that how you say it? Mubarak. Mubarak. Is that, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Mubarak. Right. What the hell? Mubarak. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no blunders. I think we we got dim sum. Uh, I want to talk about WrestleMania. Okay. Yeah. So me and Andrea go to the WrestleMania convention. Chill. Uh, we go check out the store and WWE World. And let me tell you, a lot of extra chromosomes in that room. <laughs> <laughs> but we did, <laughs> we did enjoy. Jesus Christ. We did enjoy how like nerdy everybody was into yeah. scripted violence, and. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you know, with WrestleMania and Rocky, Philly loves their fake, fake fighters. fighters. Yeah, they do. And so, uh, what else, what else did we do? Oh, so we checked out WrestleMania, and then as we were leaving, we found like a, a Yu Gi Oh, oh uh, right. another like Yu Gi Oh convention nice. in the same convention center. So me and Andrea went to go check that out, and that was cool. And uh, any blunders at the Yu Gi Oh place? How was it? How did it smell? About the same as the wrestling <laughs> convention. Yeah. <laughs> wow. A, yeah, between us and them, nobody showered. Dude, that's that a fucking. That's weekend. a fucking greenhouse. Yeah. Growing. That's something. Something's <laughs> growing there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, uh, Spores no, in the it was air. cool. It was cool. You know, they were all playing on their mats and trading cards. On and, their mats, like uh, on the floor. Yeah, they were all praying to Exodia. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't think you went to a Yu Gi Oh convention. I think you stumbled into. Something more sinister. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Iftar. <laughs> and um, what else? Oh, yeah. I looked at some of those cards, man. They had, like, uh, guess how much, like... <gasps> you could buy cards. Yeah, you could That's buy cards. Sick. I saw the head of Exodia. Nice. Guess how much that cost? Like, 200 bucks? $270. Wow. For one card. And that was, like, one out of the five Dude, the pieces. F- first, like, edition Charizards are, like, $10,000. Like what? mint condition. Yeah, Do you have yeah. any old Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Dude, I actually went home one year and I lo- I took pictures of my old Pokemon set. Like I yeah. have them in a binder. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm gonna look into how much e- each of these costs or uh-huh. cards cost. Some of them, some of them are like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, I you know what I, mean? I did the same. Yeah. Oh, you, did I you wonder find, if did you they're sell any? true. No, I still have them all. You have to like get them like rated. You have to, like send them, oh, and that costs like fifty bucks. Like appraised. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, they put wow. them in, like a hard case, and they're like, "Oh, grade A," and that's when you can like start reselling them. But then you get to <laughs> spend money like sending them, and yeah, you know, it, t- it costs that's money. Annoying. But I think I'll do it if I find one that's like this is actually gonna cost some money. Yeah, maybe if you have like a couple that are worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Would you, you're okay selling your cards? You have no feelings towards your cards. Um, no, not a lot of nostalgia, but maybe like way down the line, <laughs> if, if they become like really worth it, then I'd sell them. Then you'd keep it. Sell them. Oh, for sure. Yeah, just let them accrue Dude, value. I'd sell, them, I'd sell them like now. The know, Blue Eyes White Dragons, cares. I have a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. And like, uh, they're worth like thirty bucks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you so. can make a. You can make they negative were, I mean, twenty they bucks. They weren't worth that <laughs> when I was a kid. Right. 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 So, um, okay, that's fun. Yu Gi Oh. Did you talk to any Yu Gi Oh heads? I didn't talk to a single one of them. <laughs> They weren't into conversation or eye contact. Did they see Andrew and they were like, "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a woman." <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, she she fit in actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, uh, where can I sign up? <laughs> yeah. So what did we do that that night? Oh, we did a Don't Tell show. Hey, don't Tell. Don't Tell Philly. Thank you for having us. We yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. Long sets. Uh, any any thoughts on your set or anything <clears throat> with the comedy? I was the, happy uh, with that set. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was very happy with that set. Right. Mm-hmm. I. Uh, it's so weird doing, I mean, we're going to comedy talk, but so we're doing more than 10 minutes. Like, it's so weird to me. Like it feels. Yeah, it's I'm like, getting a lot of insight on yeah. what it's like to like come up in the New York scene. Right. Yeah. Oh, because of me. You're like seeing through me. Yeah. 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 It's so because like I don't ever exercise that brain, and so it's weird being in the moment and like doing twenty plus minutes. I don't know if this is interesting, but doing like twenty plus minutes the comedy talk. Who knows? But mm-hmm. uh, just being in the moment, being like, because I'm usually rushing through to get through like ten minutes worth of material to be like, right. oh, I want to hit every line or whatever. Yeah. But I start doing that pace in twenty minutes uh-huh. plus, and I'm like, oh, I don't have to go this fast, and I start slowing down, and, I'm, and in my head, I'm like, oh fuck, I think I slowed down too much, and that messes with my memory. Right. And I started forgetting lines yeah. that I wanted to tell. And like after the set, I'm like, oh, I forgot that line. It's because I was thinking about the pacing and I was thinking about like the mo- like in the moment. And it's just like yeah. very, it fucks with you a lot. I Yeah, I, I felt the same yeah. a little bit. Like um, I was a little conscious of my pace. I felt like I was 
going a little too fast. Yeah. But uh, so what happens in New York. You like just are naturally just you have to just go fast. Yeah. And and like I think what happens whenever you start doing longer sets is like you sometimes like I've realized that a lot of my jokes structurally are kind of the same. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they have the yeah. same twist. Yep, same when twist. You put them in the same um, set, and you feel like the same cadence, right? You're like, I sound yeah. so, <laughs> so boring. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. This is that how this works? <laughs> yeah. But stand up, yeah, you know, it's kind of boring. I guess, but I feel like the best comics are the ones who, uh, like, a conversation like this. Like, we are inflecting in a way that's not. Right. It is a pattern, but it's also like we are doing it in a way that feels natural, and there's like moments of like. Higher pitch, lower pitch, fast, slow, you know, like the yeah. way to do that. But I feel like with doing it in New York, it's all like I have to kind of just like get through this and like have a certain cadence that like is accessible and like make it easy for everybody kind of thing. Yeah. You can't yeah. like sit in things. Mm-hmm. No, it's I agree. Crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm better than a lot of these New York comics <laughs> and nobody even knows. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> and no one ever will. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that Don't Tell was great. I had a great set. And not to brag... Yeah. Afterwards. Best uh, set of the night, you think? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Well, I did have to do. We both did twenty, 20 minutes, yeah, to ten. But the and guy before we, me, I think, hit about almost twenty. He did do a long. He went. Set. He went yeah, long. Yeah. And he was. He was killing. I'm not gonna lie. He was killing. I think he had the second best set of the night. Who was the best? Who was the best set? I think I had the best. Yeah, set it's, probably fair. <laughs> it's probably fair. It's probably well, fair. Well, I, I was like, I, I was waiting by the door. This is another like little comedy hack. It's like if you <laughs> wait by the door, you could like you know, organically meet people oh. afterwards and then also like you can overhear what people thought of the show yeah yeah so sometimes i'll just wait by the exit and then i'll like pretend to be on my phone or right something. right and then do you uh, hear anything good the reviews were glowing for you yeah do you hear anything about me uh no i didn't hear anything i didn't hear anything negative but the guy <laughs> there, there was one guy who was like gushing about i shouldn't say this sounds like I'm like patting myself on the back. Fuck yeah, I was. <laughs> I had a great set. It, it was, was a great set. show. It was a good set. Yeah, 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 I was very happy with it. I look, I can be honest about unlike some other comics at maybe Punchline Philly or whatever, <laughs> touring around with Jorge, they, they probably can't handle. I can handle this. I'm like, yeah, yeah I, I can agree. Yeah, I'm not well, used to doing 20 plus minutes. Like, I'm sorry. No, I don't right? think you did. No, you did great. I did okay. I think yeah. I did okay. I wasn't like completely happy with my set, but I, I can recognize that I did okay. You know? Yeah, like, but it wasn't a bomb. No, <laughs> it, it wasn't a bomb. And then also, people were laughing. I'll probably clip something from it. Like I think there's something clippable, that kind of thing. No, like, you, it, you did fine. great. And then like you you riffed at the beginning, and then you lose, and like yeah, uh, um, yeah. And then it's like you said, you you were figuring out like your your long set right. legs. You know. I will say though, I do want to get to that oh, point. Wait, let me let me say what this guy said. He was okay. like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, the whole show was great, but the last guy, man, that last guy was all killer, no filler. Let's go. He was like every single joke, right? Hit. That's like, awesome. Let's go. I didn't even realize you're hanging on the ice. You fucking creepy little. Freak. Yeah, yeah, I like to lurk. <laughs> I want to I want to bomb and do the Norm McDonald thing where you say thank you for coming to everybody who came to the show. It's I want to so do that, but funny. I can't do. I get so I do, yeah, embarrassed like, when uh, I bomb. Yeah. So Have you ever bombed so bad? Uh, sorry, I smashed the window and went to the ER, yeah. Have <laughs> 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 you ever bombed so bad the comics pretend not to know you? <laughs> Uh no, I can't I, say I that have. have. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I bombed real bad. Where was this? This was on an outdoor show, like a month after the pandemic sort of started ending. Yeah. And I did an outdoor oh maybe before. I think it was maybe before, but like I was hosting the show and I was just eating shit. There was like oh. four people there. Uh, it was an ambush show. It was just bad. I, it, I did one of those things where I apologize to the audience. I'm so sorry that I'm here. These As guys the host? will be better. Yeah, oh, these guys will God. be better. I just felt bad. It was so bad. Asian. It was a bad moment. <laughs> it was a bad show. Me. And then I walked back to the to the comics, and I was like, well, that was rough. And then no one answered me. <laughs> they, they were like, <laughs> everyone yeah, was just on their phone, on their no eye contact, yeah. <laughs> no eye Damn. contact. And I was like, I bombed that hard. <laughs> I I had a yeah I had a real bad set one time at uh, uh this like dog bar one time I was also hosting. Okay, okay. And it sucks because when you're hosting like and you bomb the crowd hates you. Yeah. And then you have to keep going up. Yes, yeah, so and you have to be like. So it's like, hey everybody, going. you just fucko again. You yeah, know, yeah. You guys yeah. remember you don't like me. Everybody but remembers you don't like me. I think cool. at the point you just like you just push the show like all right next comic is and then you just you just keep going you know what I mean you don't like you don't like try to be their friend anymore you're more <sighs> yeah. just like. It's a job at this point. I tried. Yeah, yeah And everybody yeah. was like, I would go up, i try to say something funny about the last right. set, and the crowd was like, look, dude, we already told you we don't like you. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
comedy. This is, this is the worst, the worst industry ever. <laughs> 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 I've never gotten, to, I've never overheard someone say I've had the best set, even though I've had been on shows where I'm like, I've had the best set, but yeah. I never heard like someone say that though. And I bet that feels crazy cool. You're like, fuck yeah. Well, I, I don't think, you know what I mean? I don't think most people look oh, say at it, it that way. Okay. Like who had the best set? I mean, if it's like outrageously like vast, like yeah. you did so much better than everybody else. Right, right, right. And yeah, but it's just like, uh, I think... I, I've had I see this more often. Like sometimes I will see a show where a comic to me clearly had the best set. Objectively right, 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 right. biggest like laughs, you know, biggest reaction. And you'll ask somebody like, Who do you like? And then it's just somebody that they connected with um on an individual level. Yeah. And it's not always like how comics like count laughs. Right. You know? yeah. Right, right. So I, I've seen that. Yeah. There was so a there were there were probably a couple of people at the show that um, liked you the most, obsessed with you me. Know, yeah. Well, wait, wait. Before we, well, I want to ask. Well, mm-hmm. there's a few things on my mind. Did you get any? Fo- did you get a lot of followers after this? <laughs> I think I got like one or two. Yeah, me too. Them, Let's go. One of them was the photographer. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I think I got one. I think I got two. One. Okay, this is what I noticed. One person kept looking at my story. Didn't follow though. Which I thought was interesting. Oh, you noticed that? Wow. I noticed that. Because mm-hmm. I was like, who's this random person? Yeah. Um, and I think another one is uh, a follow. Nice. Uh, and then photographer and then the other one of the other com or the other comics. Oh, look I'm at sure. that. You got more followers than I did. You didn't get you- And I had the best set. <laughs> 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 but no, but the other person anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I was just curious. I think it's it's just interesting like hearing uh how many like have like does this is actually get you like do shows actually get you followers? You know what I mean? I don't think so. It's maybe like one not, or two. Not unless you like, you like specifically go. say or like yeah. hunt them down. Like, please right. follow me. Which I kind of uh, I kind of respect. Hate. Okay, I kind of respect it in a way. Like, hey, if you have fun, like you know, I'm on Instagram. Here's my card if you want to follow me. I know it's the wise thing to do. I think it's a yeah. smart thing to do. But I've just seen people like grovel on stage. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And they do it. God, one time I did a show <laughs> in Houston, and I like. <laughs> She, I follow this comic, and she killed, but she did it in, like, a very gimmicky, like, kind of not, it's not the comedy that I like. Yeah. It's, like, more, like, you know, material-based, like, you know, I, I don't know. But she was, like, jumping into the crowd and, like, walking around oh, the room. Oh, like, alty stuff? And just, like, really, no, not alty, it was just, like, real, like, really, like, you know, dirty, <laughs> like, outrageous. Oh, like, crass. Yeah, it was like very crass. Not like bare feet. Yeah. Around. Okay, yeah. okay. And there wasn't a lot well, of ma- there wasn't like really an act. She was yeah. it was all just sort of like being outrageous. Look how which fucking is, crazy which I is am. fine, you know. Yeah. But then like so she's but don't get me wrong, she's killing. Yeah. And she gets back on stage and the and the she's like, Guys, you know, uh this this you know, I I want comedy to be to be my dream. She's stuttering just like me, you know. She goes, <laughs> I I want comedy to be just uh I want it to be my dream, and I want to be just like Kevin Hart one day. And you would all be making my dream come true if you just gave me a follow. Oh, no. Ugh, so and cringe. You can follow me on my Instagram. My name is da 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 da. Now, when I say da da, I want y'all to say da da, and then she like <laughs> has everybody say her her uh, Instagram it's, yeah, like, handle. Say it back, like okay, now you really know. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, Jesus. No, that's Christ. too much. Everybody she did kill though, and then I went <laughs> up, and then I after that, like yeah. you know, everybody's like enamored with her, and yeah, so yeah. like it was so she's like Stand wears ovation. her heart on her sleeves, right? And then I go up there and eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, again, best industry in the world. This shit rocks. Uh, <laughs> this, yeah. you know, have you ever been to an? But an, I should uh, at the end of my set, I should say like, follow me, follow so me. I don't yeah. fucking put a bullet. In my I can't. Brain. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can bring myself to be like, follow me. Yeah, like I, and subscribe. I just, like, I just fucking hate like social media. Like, it's, I think it's such a stupid like clout thing now. Yeah, it's just like I don't give a fuck. Anyway, um, I mean, I, yeah, I could rant all day about that. Have you have you ever done like a, a music open mic in like the city, like New York City? Uh, I've done or outside. The I've city done a even. few okay. here, but when I started in Houston, uh, one of the main ones was like a mixed did, mic. Did they? Did every musician plug their Instagram? This was this was like kind of before that. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, what'd you do comedy like in the eighteen hundreds? <laughs> you old <laughs> fuck. Anyway, uh that's a thing that I notice with poets and musicians. They will do their shitty poetry and their shitty music and they'll be like, Follow me at 
fart guy. Yeah. <laughs> and they get off. It's like, dude, no one <laughs> fucking wants to follow you. Yeah. Why is everyone doing this? It's in infu- you're at an open mic. It just it just it's oh at an open mic that yes. is crazy. They're yeah. at an open mic yeah. and they're like follow me and they're also dude I, w- I can go on about this. Musicians and poets at at open mics are the most fucking pretentious people like yeah. ever. It's the worst. well I mean yeah, the comics at the open mic they're Could not be, yeah, they're not, not gems better. either. Everybody right you know everybody's but got an ego. I think with poetry and music you can get away with feeling like you did a good job, but like if you bombed oh. in comedy you, you it's clear. It's objective, yeah, cuz yeah. you get that feedback immediately. Right, right, right. And there's no real like subjectivity. Right. Yeah. Anyway, here's another blunder that happened at the uh, Don't Tell Philly show. Uh not oh. concerning you and me, but you know about it cuz Terry it's, it concerns Terry, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This has happened to Terry many times, and I'm the story I'm about to tell has happened to Terry many times. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, uh I I do my set, killed yeah. it, probably the best in the show, and then I walked off. <laughs> <laughs> I walked off. Yeah. I walked off stage and uh stage right. I walked off stage right. This is important, okay? Mm-hmm. Terry is standing stage left. <laughs> all right. The whole show he's been standing stage left. Yeah. All right. Terry is another Asian guy with glasses, by the yes, way. Yes, wearing a yeah. black hoodie. I was also wearing a black hoodie. Yeah. Uh but he was he's stage left sitting there and standing there. And then uh he's literally standing there the whole time with another guy next to him, which is also <laughs> important. The whole time. Yeah. All right. The guy next to him <laughs> pats him on the sh- pats him on the shoulder. Terry looks at him and is like, what's up? He's like, hey, what's up? And then <laughs> the guy next to him holds out a fist bump, a uh, fist for to bump. Yeah. Right? And then Terry's like, what? And he, like, does it, he does it. And the guy goes, hey, man, good set. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy confused <laughs> yes, Terry with, with you. With me. <laughs> While I was on Many stage. Many times. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Just making sure he wasn't confusing me with Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, good set. Wait, aren't you supposed to be, aren't you on stage? Right? What the fuck is going on? He started freaking <laughs> out. Uh... But yeah, it was a very funny blunder. And this has happened many times with Terry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't look a- alike, alike at all. Do you think we have similar vibes, though? Like soft boy vibes? Wow, okay. Now I'm offended. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Soft boy vibes? <laughs> <laughs> no, may- maybe. I don't know. Oh, oh, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about that lady who drove us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Coming, do we? <laughs> you know, you could, that's we have to. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. So, <laughs> all right. So there's this, a now there's you're making a, me nervous. There's a cop because she was very nice to us. <laughs> well, so was Jorge Barbosa. Yeah, you're right. But Jorge's yeah. sick, you know. So, so the host of the Don't Tell show is like this ex Mormon who like left the Mormon Church or whatever, <laughs> and uh, which is kind of important. I feel like ex Mormons are. Uh, not really adjusted to society. In a yeah, way. yeah, what, it is yeah. an important detail because she she was a little uh, uh, retarded. <laughs> so. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so uh, after the show, we we're trying to figure out what to do. Me, Art, and Terry, you know, and then uh, we decide let's go watch a movie. Let's go watch a late night Godzilla versus Kong. X Kong, they're collaborating. They're not fighting each other. It's very important. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> the collaborative efforts of Godzilla and, and Kong, Kong. Yeah. And Mothra. And Spoiler. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and uh, so this lady's like talking her ear off about comedy and she's like two years in. So she's still really excited about it. Yeah. She's not like dead on the inside yet. She's doing, she's actually doing well too. She's doing a lot of shows. She's, she's like hosting. Don't tell all that stuff. Yeah. She's, she's, she's all right. <laughs> and, oh <my> God. <laughs> and then, so we're she's burning, like, she's like, bring bridges here. She goes, uh, we tell her we're going to go watch a movie. She goes, Oh, do you want to ride to the movie theater? Awesome. Great. But then she's like, I'll give you a ride as long as we talk about comedy. And me and Huge yeah, red flag. I was like, oh, fuck. And you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but sure, whatever. We get a yeah, ride, yeah. right? And so so we go to her car, and then Art kind of throws me under the <laughs> bus. <laughs> I don't throw you under the bus. I uh, fuck you over. <laughs> yeah, it fucks me over. But I didn't like, I didn't, I didn't, like uh, expose you in any way. You know what Wait, I mean? Wait, what, what did you say? I said... Uh, anyone want shotgun? I'm gonna sit in the back <laughs> or something like that. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm okay with yeah, you go. Back. I'm gonna sit in the back. <laughs> and then me, a boneheaded, I go, I can't miss an opportunity to win something. <laughs> so I go, shoddy. This is all because I know. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I'm gonna. T- he, this guy likes to take. He, he's going in. He's gonna take the bed. He's, yeah. he's the type of guy. He's the type of guy who's gonna take shotgun. Man, you really played your cards right. You really <laughs> played me like a violin. <laughs> and then yeah, I take this the bait. I go shotgun. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is why you can't expose yourself in any way. You can't oh you can't play God. out your moves because then people learn the moves <laughs> and use it against you. <laughs> so I'm in the front seat, and then she's driving us to the movie theater, and boy, she's yapping. She talks a lot about off. comedy. She talks a lot about comedy. She uses words like. Co- comedy genius. Comedy genius. <laughs> what did you say? Like, if you're on the stage, you're the master of she the stage. Read, she read. She read a like book that. by some British comic who probably fucking sucks dick because <laughs> British comedy sucks. And then she's like, "Yeah, Bean. I read. I read a rule that says, you know, because that's what comedy's about. It's about rules that you read <laughs> in a book." She's like, "Yeah, you shouldn't say that." Um, you know, that this isn't an act on stage. You shouldn't allude that this is just material, you know, cause, c- because number one rule of comedy, the audiences are dumb, you know. Uh, and <laughs> so, so things like that. Yeah. And then so and then she starts bringing up like China. Yeah, that was weird. So I was that bringing was up China thing. and apparently she used to go to China and then she's asking us about like Asian food marts and like Oh, I forgot about that. Yo, she was telling us do you remember this bit she was working on? I do remember the bit. Yeah, she had this bit where she was like, I wanna I'm working on this bit about Asian grocery stores where I'm in there and I just like don't know what anything is. It is kind of strange in there. Yeah. It's just like yeah, people in different places of the world eat different things. Like I don't know yeah. what to tell you, dude. But the bit was, she she I could tell she thought this was like a pro Asian, like, yeah 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 progressive thing. But the bit was like she wanted to make her kids eat frog legs. Oh because right, because right. other people <laughs> I that's normal. <laughs> yes, dude. The moment I sat in the back seat, I'm like, I'm so excited, just zone the fuck out. <laughs> I blocked out like most of the car. I was just on my phone playing yeah, eight ball. Yeah, but it Terry was Terry was trying to talk to me. I was like, "Shut up, Terry!" Like, I told her I was chilling. like, "Nobody's gonna believe that you did a show with three Asian people." <laughs> and then right afterwards, you're like, "Hey, can you take us to go Godzilla. see the Godzilla movie?" <laughs> Honestly, we did. We did. Uh, we did. I don't know what the word is, but confirm we did some stereotypes. We did yeah, we did kind of fuck ourselves. <laughs> we shot ourselves <laughs> in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we did uh oh here it is we did hoist we get hoisted by our own petard that's what happened <laughs> <laughs> i like saying that petard <laughs> we got hoisted by our own petard yeah and we got driven by a petard as well <laughs> <laughs> oh man she might listen hey honestly grateful you're very nice uh i did think you know, it was- yeah you just got introduced to society so i'm gonna grade <laughs> you on a curve Honestly, if you want, I'm happy to talk about any of this with you. But I great also, root beer. I also, don't, I also did think this, I don't know if you heard this, but I, oh, you were there. I did think it was weird when you were like, you look like this comic, even though you are Asian. I'm not saying it's because you're Asian, but you really look like this comic. And I looked him up. I don't look like this comic who at all. It? Sam Zhang. He like barely does comedy. Is. Anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, but her, her reasoning was, oh, you guys do it to white people all the time. And I was like, you didn't hear us do that. <laughs> like, you don't know if we You do guys. That. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, also, yeah, I don't sure think I've do. done that. I also think... Like, if I do that, it's usually pretty spot on. Exactly, yeah. which is fair. But you... I think I would have been more forgiving if he actually looked like me, but he looked nothing like me. So, yeah, that was like a double offense. Because she said right. you, she, you look like somebody else who you did not. Right. And then... Said, you guys do this all the time. Exactly. And you eat frog legs. Right. Which are, have you had frog legs? I don't like them. They're all right. They're okay. <laughs> I'm not like, like against them. them. <laughs> they're not fucking weird. No, they're, I mean. Yeah. I can also, like, I'm a little actually forgiving about, like, weirdness. You know what I mean? Because, like, you didn't grow up in Asia. Of course you're going to find this to be strange. It's not part of, it's not part of America. It's not part of the world. Yeah. You know? She barely grew up in America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, I guess we can wrap this up. Did we miss anything about Philly? Oh, we've been shitting. Yeah, I think that's that's over though. Yeah, yeah. you you're making fun of me for shitting twice in an hour, dude. I shot like oh, I completely <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> dude, I shot like three more times after I got home. Like I shot like a lot. Yes, but yesterday. okay, but it was like more than normal, ago. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, I've I've done that before. Shot twice in an hour because it's like. I thought I'm done, and then I'm like, it hits another another wave comes through. You know, we gotta ask the listeners: Is it normal to poop twice in an hour? <laughs> Let us know. Let this us is know. a live pod. Hey guys, can you uh, speak <laughs> up? <laughs> all right. Well, uh, anyway, anyways, your review of Philly. Uh, it was all right. I think it remind. I think I like I like Boston more. It reminded me of Boston. I could see that. But I like Boston more because I think Boston... Well, they're both like historical cities, which I think are pretty cool. It's yeah. like There's a lot of history. Uh, they're, it's also like kind of a smaller city where you feel like getting around is kind of easy. Mm-hmm. Um, Boston, better public transit. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a prettier city. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, I think there's more like young people there. That's why I think I like Boston a little more. But yep. Well, I think that's a good place to end it. That's my review as well. <laughs> Philly, <laughs> Philadelphia, Boston's better. Your, your people. Yeah. Boston. Oh, I will say cheesesteaks. I was surprised by how decent they were. They were good. They're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I converted to a fan. Yeah, I won't, would not go out of my way for them, but like I'll eat another one. You know, mm-hmm. I thought they were good. Well, I thought that was a pretty good button to end it on. <laughs> no, <laughs> bring up the Boston better, thing. <laughs> but yeah, I guess you know that is good inside art. The Philly cheesesteaks in Philly are good. People always wonder. People always shit on. Dan Yang was shitting on it. You know what I mean? Well, Glennis no. was. Just wait till we get those. Jorge cheese steaks Barbosa in was shitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard those Boston cheesesteaks are even better. Uh, well, have a good week, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>